In this video, we'll look at the interview process for the mayoral internship programme, how to prepare for the interview and what to expect on the day. If you are successfully shortlisted for an interview for the mayoral internship programme, we will let you know all of the details by email. The interview is your opportunity to show off who you are and all the skills and experience you bring to the programme. You'll be interviewed by a panel made up of John Smith Centre staff and colleagues. Interviews will take place online on Zoom. How to successfully prepare for your interview. Step one, research. It is very important that you research the John Smith Centre and the programme. Get to know the John Smith Centre. What is our mission? What do we do? Understand the mayoral internship programme. What does the programme involve? Having a good understanding of these things will help you to stand out from the crowd. Take the time to go through all of the information on our website. Reread the mayoral internship programme description. Look at the essential and desirable criteria. Read the testimonials by former interns. Make sure you understand all of the details. Step two, match to the programme. After you've done your research and you've got a good understanding of the programme and what's involved, think about matching what we want to what you have. You've got a clear idea of what the essential and desirable criteria are now, so reflect on your experience and identify when you've demonstrated these skills in the past. Think about your achievements, work experience, volunteering, academic life in school or higher education, hobbies and interests, family responsibilities, general life experience. Think about your best experiences. How would you describe them? Consider the skills and strengths you have developed and how these match to the programme. Understand how competency-based interviews work. Interviews for the mayoral internship programme will be competency-based and will take place online. A competency is a skill or ability required to take part in the programme. Competency interviews work on the idea that past behaviour is the best indicator of future performance. Our assumption is that if you've been able to demonstrate the skill in the past, you'll be able to keep doing it in the future. We'll ask you a set of questions, each focusing on a different skill relevant to the essential criteria. While answering competency-based interview questions, use the STAR technique to structure your answers. This will help you to communicate all the important points clearly and concisely. It's okay to use some of the examples from your application, but we'll be looking for a bit more detail about the actions you took and the results you achieved. Try to use different examples from your application form if you can. Step four, practice. The best thing you can do in the lead up to an interview is talk out loud to yourself. You could also do a mock interview with a friend or a family member. Think about the content you want to bring into the interview. Use all your best examples. This allows you to hear what works, the evidence that is most persuasive, and for you to feel confident in your delivery. Some people practice in front of a mirror or even video themselves. Score the effectiveness of your answer on a scale of one to 10. What did you do well? What can be improved? Then try it again. Although we can't give you the questions in advance, it's best practice to prepare for common interview questions such as, tell us about yourself. Why do you want to take part in this programme? Do you have any questions for us? These are just a few common interview questions. Preparing for typical interview questions can help you feel more prepared and less nervous. Have a look online for other common interview questions that are related to the essential criteria. Remember, in the interview, we'll be testing how your skills and experience match up with the essential criteria. So it's a good idea to look at the skills that crop up in the criteria, such as communication and teamworking skills, and prepare examples for these. Take this time to think about interview questions that you might get asked and think about how you'd structure your answer. Step five, first impressions count. You don't get a second chance at making a first impression, so make sure that it counts. Plan what you're going to wear and dress appropriately. This is a professional development programme and therefore we expect you to dress professionally. This applies even when your interview is online. Smile. You're trying to build a warm rapport with the interview panel and a smile is a great way to start. Be aware of your body language. Move items off your desk so you're not tempted to fidget with these. Be on time. 
Arrive in the interview online waiting room five minutes before your online interview is due to start, just to settle yourself. Test your equipment in advance and make sure you know how to join Zoom. Top tips for online interviews. Some more top tips for online interviews are ensuring you have a stable internet connection. Position yourself somewhere close to the Wi-Fi router where the signal is strongest. An ethernet cable may also improve your connection. Minimize other traffic on your internet connection. Turn off other devices that are connected to your router and close other apps on your device. Make sure that your device is plugged into power to avoid any battery issues. Minimize any other noises or distractions in the room if your interview is online. Let the people you live with know that you have an interview and not to disturb you during that time. Make sure you're well lit. We want to be able to see you. You could sit at a window, use a lamp behind your screen or use a ring light. Ensure your webcam is at eye level. To make a professional impression, make sure your background is tidy and avoid using a moving background. Make sure to switch off or put your mobile phone on silent so you're not interrupted. Keep a glass of water with you and a notepad and pen. Finally, be yourself. We want to know all about you, your interests and what skills you feel you can bring to the programme. So there you have it. Five steps to interview success on the Mayoral Internship Programme. Good luck and if you have any questions about the interview process, please get in touch.